Hi guys, welcome. One of the reasons you might be inclined to install other distros is because of the fact that they use, for example, look at the icon, Calamars. On arclinksiso.com, on alci.online, you learn how to build your own ISIS and you learn how to work with a package called Calamars. It's a Linux installer and this is Gecko Linux, right? So it is interesting to have a look how is it implemented on other um, distros, right? Rolling machines in this case, well, you could choose um, between rolling and static, I think they call it static. So ETC, Calamars, and you just go ahead and read everything that's in here, right? How do they achieve that this thing works on something based on OpenSUSE, Tumblewood, that's, that's the, uh, where we are now, right? Gecko Linux rolling XFCE. XFCE is XFCE everywhere. The look and the icons and all that, it's the same, right? It's well, its not the same, it's different, but it's the same, it's XFCE. So let's have a look. Next, and Brussels is working. So just a ping, so it knows where we are. Next, erase everything. We can choose these guys. We can choose these guys. So we choose this one. And then next, and we go for an installation. Automatically, if you want to, next, install, install now, and off we go. So he's busy. It's missing a few images here, I see, but that's not important, is it? And then you go have a look. What is the settings? What do they provide as settings? So the welcome, that's, this is the bit that we just saw, and this is what's going on now. Partitioning, mounting, unpack file system, FS tab, locale, Plymouth is available, Lux boot key file, so encryption is available. They need tracked, we don't on Arch. User display manager and then so on, hardware clock. This is something they've made themselves for some reason. Dracut is here, and another one, number one, number two, and a shell process, unmount. Right, so then it's up to you to learn more. And we're actually studying Calamaris and see what's going on here. If uh, better BTRFS set us to okay in ETC FS tab, they do something here, they change something. LZO compression. This one is um, another file, looks like it's for booting. Quite splash and all that. No resume, no mod set. Number three. Grub to EFI. And this one is for bias. Grub two. And then we got the modules. This is something that's not there normally. So move this file to the bootloader. And move that one to there. If EFI, if bias. So there, they made something uh, specific if what if you are on EFI what if you are on bias do this and do that and this is number two firmware type and something so this is the installer would be our pacman thing zipper and all the rest right go and have a look how did they achieve this kind of thing because you always learn from these things even though it's maybe not applicable on an Arch based system, well, compare Arcolix, ALCI, Carly with this, and then learn from code from others. So there's an open SUSE theme there in Grub. Maybe you like that one, copy paste. Packages we're going to not use, although this one is used, branding upstream. Remnant of Calamaris, they're removing this one as well, and that one, and that one. That's it, and all the rest is hashtagged out. And that's what I find interesting, not per se the distro, but the Calamaris installer. So the modules, then they have the branding, maybe we're looking about um, how can I change things, the QML, uh, uh, zero bytes, and the branding description, how do they brand their things, logo, product, squids, and so on. And here's some few colors, but they're not that many colors at all. And that's it. 
So, point of the video, calamars actually, right? And have a look at other people's configurations, restart. And I mean time, let's have a look at Gecko. So this is LightDM, I suppose. This is the default or the slick reader. It's the default, I think. Not the slick reader. I go to file system, etc, LightDM. Oh, what's that? LightDM. And the, the folders that are similar or the same, right? It's just the default GTK greeter. And um, you can go in there and change some things if you like to change them. Now, maybe. So there's nothing there. There's no application there to change the greeter itself. So it really is in the code. This is, of course, not Pac-Man, right? So they have yes, yet another tool. What was it? Software tool, I suppose. Yes. And that's my cue to pause the video here. So basically, I still wants to update this. And you code Intel is going on there. And maybe you want to look at grub things or so default grub. What's the code in here? Have a look at that. Right. What settings do they use? Okay. This these guys. And there are so many things that are so similar to Arch. Right. It's still Linux. And compare. That's the only message I can give. If you want to learn, compare. And one of the tools is Melt. So have a look around. I'm definitely going to try and install Saturday and um, surf them and then see if I'm missing icons in here somewhere and we'll make some more because that's what we do. We install other distributions and make sure they are supported with our icons called Saturday and surf them. All right, I'll get back to you later. Pausing for now. Let's have a look. Sardi and Surfen. Sardi icons. Let's see what comes up. Eric Dubois, Sardi, get the files at SourceForge. That's clear. So here, accept files. Definitely need to make another package from July. So monthly, and we make normal uh, these package, but July and August is holiday. So let's see if we can extract here. Sure, we can. And then the other guy is the surfing icons that we maintain on a monthly basis. That's the surfing icons. Same here. Download zip. Right here. And then we need to have another one. Control H. Dot icons is a folder if it's available. So let's see. Right mouse click, create folder. Dot icons. Dot icons. Surf so icons go in there. And the Sardi control A go in there. That's it. Now it's available to the machine appearance icons. Let's open this up like this. Let's go for Sardi Orb Colora. We did something wrong with the surfing icons, I see. Yep. So control A, control X, one level up, control V, and the surfing folder is now empty. This can go. So this is Sardi Orb Colora. Definitely should open. Yeah, 
I hope it can do it. Yes, it works twice. It doesn't like to be opened twice. That's why I am hesitating of changing these things. So this one needs a new icon. The rest looks good. So all kind of possibilities. And now let's do all settings again. Let's see if Surfing comes in the list. Surfing, Vemix Black. So everything is changed. Vertex. I'll have to go over the applications at a later moment. So basically what I often do is Sardi Flexible, which is all blue. This really shows that this one is in need of a new icon, but all applications as well. We make that a little bit bigger. Wow. <laughs> System log is here. Sax3 is there. So these are specific applications for Yest. Yes stuff, but uh, some of them have been made already in the past. Yest. But not all, right? A lot of work. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. A lot of work. And this one works, and that one works. And there you go, right? So when I start typing yes, many of the yes stuff is not does not have an icon yet in Sardi Flexible. If you take one of the other guys, it's probably going to be less um, invasive because is this is really, well, just random icons. I mean, it's not really standing out amongst the others. Although this is really an old icon. Here are all the just guys. So this is still okay. But if you go to Sardin, everything should be a circle, and it's not. Voila. So on the to-do list, when I have time, I'll make these as well. And that's my visit to Keiko Linux. Cheers.